After an absence of nearly a decade from the US market, the Komatsu PC-130 excavator is officially back. The last PC-130 that was offered in North America was the PC-130-8, which went on sale in 2008 and left the market in 2011. Positioned as an entry-level excavator, Komatsu says the new PC-130-11 serves the purpose of filling in a pivotal gap between its small and medium-sized excavator lineups that became apparent in this machine's absence. Now, the reason that that gap is so pivotal and why it posed a pretty interesting challenge for Komatsu engineers is that because a lot of customers out there, especially construction and utility customers that are on the smaller end or those who are just starting out, might find themselves a bit stuck deciding between a more affordable, but ultimately a less powerful machine that's out of Komatsu's compact excavator lineup that might not completely meet their needs, or another machine that, while offering more power than the mini models, might have more power or size than they actually need or want and at a price that they can't afford. And that is precisely where the new Komatsu PC-130-11 comes in. Let's get into it. Continuing the discussion that we had at the top about what and who this machine is for, the PC-130-11 is squarely aimed at excavation or utility contractors looking for construction grade performance in a lightweight package that is easy to transport. And Komatsu says that they were really aiming to develop a small footprint machine that did not exceed 29,000 pounds while retaining durability and the level of performance that you would expect from a medium-sized Komatsu excavator. The result is a machine that weighs in at a range between 28,604 and 28,660 pounds. It's eight feet, 10 inches wide, and despite its positioning between the small and medium lines, and specifically its position in the lineup between two tight tail swing models, the PC-130-11 itself is not a zero or tight tail swing model. It's a conventional tail swing machine with a tail radius of seven feet, three inches. So how does this machine solve Komatsu's problem of a gap between its small and mid-sized lineups? Well, a bit ago, we mentioned the two machines the PC-130-11 is positioned between. So let's actually compare the new PC-130 to those surrounding siblings to see exactly what Komatsu settled on in this bridge model. In the past, Komatsu has actually described its PC-88MR-10 excavator as the link or bridge model between the mini and mid-size excavators. And some of that was simply because it was the largest mini excavator in the lineup. However, the PC-88 is a tight tail swing model, which obviously hinders its lifting capabilities to some degree, and it has a swing boom. And at that point, it's pretty clear that this is a compact machine built for working in tight spaces rather than a true almost mid-size excavator with a little bit more all-around capability. Plus, the jump between the PC-88's weight, engine power, and bucket capacity to what used to be the next model up, the midsize PC-138 USLC-11, that jump is pretty sizable. All right, so let's explore that a little bit. For instance, while the current generation PC-88 weighs in at around 19,000 pounds, the PC-138 is in a neighborhood of 35,000 pounds, depending on how you configure it. So you're talking nearly double the weight, and the new PC-130's 28,000 pound weight fits nicely between these two models and is a much more appropriate midway point in terms of size between the mini and mid-size lineups. All three of these machines have essentially the same four-cylinder Komatsu engine. However, the PC-130 and the PC-138 have a newer generation of that engine, and it delivers roughly 30 more horsepower on both of those larger machines. While the PC-88 is rated at 68 horsepower, the PC-130 and PC-138 are both rated at 97 horsepower. And when it comes to bucket capacity, the PC-88's 0.12 to 0.44 cubic yard capability is more than a step off from the PC-138's 0.34 to one cubic yard capacities. Here again, the PC-130 fits nicely between these two machines with a 0.34 to 0.78 cubic yard capacity. Earlier we mentioned that the PC-130 and the PC-138 share the same engine and horsepower rating, but that's not the only way in which these two machines are similar when it comes to performance. Both of these models have a max reach of 27 feet, though the PC-138 can go to nearly 29 feet when you equip the optional nine foot, 10 inch arm. Now, max depth for both models is 18 feet, unless again, you equip the long reach arm on the PC-138 
which then gives you about a foot and a half more reach. And when it comes to bucket digging force, the PC-130 not only meets the PC-138 in terms of capability, it actually exceeds it with a force of 18,190 pounds versus the PC-138's 17,530 pounds. The PC-88, meanwhile, remember, this used to be the bridge machine between the two size classes, falls squarely behind both the PC-130 and PC-138 in terms of spec charts with a 15-foot max dig depth, 24-foot max reach, and roughly 12,000 pounds of digging force. And as we mentioned earlier, the PC-88's tight tail swing design really becomes apparent when you start looking at the lifting charts. While the PC-130 and PC-138 perform very similarly across these charts, the PC-88 typically displays between one-third and two-thirds of the lifting capability that the other two models offer. Okay, so when you go through these core specifications and you make the comparisons with the surrounding machines, the picture on the PC-130 becomes a lot more clear. In terms of size, you are getting a machine that isn't mini, but it also isn't 20 or 30 tons, which makes for a nimble machine that is also easy to transport. But in terms of performance, you're really getting a machine that solidly fits into Komatsu's midsize lineup, something that you just couldn't say about the PC-88. And here's John Jennings, Komatsu's product marketing manager for the company Small Excavators in North America, discussing exactly who Komatsu had in mind when bringing the PC-130 back to the U.S. market. It was really built and designed around being easily transportable so the owner-operator can carry the machine on a tag trailer, no permits, easy to move there. It's also going to be great for people either running rental equipment businesses or for the guy that hey, I, I need a bigger machine, I don't know if I need it all the time, they can go and rent it from the dealer, and again, because of that transportability, it's easy to move to their site, get it back off the site too, and move from job to job. So from an examination of the specs, it's clear that Komatsu has delivered on introducing a true bridge machine between its excavator size classes in this new PC-130-11. And with that capability and portability in mind, here's John again on the specific types of applications the PC-130 should fit in nicely for. Other applications that this would be great for is kind of uh, basement digging, driveway work, small, smaller scale construction, dirt work jobs. We have some people that are finding it really attractive for uh, light hammer, small hammer applications. Again, because of that portability and our general Komatsu reliability, they know they know that it can take the beating from the hammer and keep doing what, keep, keep them doing their business. Now, John alluded to this in that previous comment, but beyond giving the PC-130-11 true mid-size power in that smaller package, Komatsu also made it a priority to build this machine in a way that provides long-term durability in a construction environment. And it's really the first way that you can see that this is not a value or economy machine, even though it is aimed at saving certain contractors a bit of money. Instead, and I think that this is really the key to understanding the PC-130-11, this machine is saving you money through right sizing. And specifically, it's saving you money through a more realistic, a more durable, and a more powerful right size machine at the bottom of the midsize lineup. And to the end of making this a more durable machine, the PC-130-11 features steel castings in the boom foot, boom nose, and arm tip for spreading working loads away from those high stress areas. The machine also comes standard with a double element air cleaner with an auto dust evacuator. It has debris guards for the radiator and oil cooler and an engine overheat protection system. Speaking of that engine again, it's equipped with a variable flow turbocharger and of course meets tier four final emission standards. It also uses 12% less fuel than the previous generation PC-130-8, and those fuel savings are thanks to improved technology associated with Komatsu's closed center load sensing hydraulic control technology. Now, this system matches engine and hydraulic demand at the precise, most efficient point under any load. And meanwhile, Komatsu has also improved the main valve 
and hydraulic circuit on this machine to reduce hydraulic loss, providing you with further fuel savings. Another improvement to the machine's hydraulics is a new quick return arm valve that improves arm cylinder hydraulic flow to give you faster arm out speed and improved overall arm performance. There's also six working modes on this machine for finding that optimal balance between fuel efficiency and performance based on whatever task is at hand. The PC130-11 also features auto idle shutdown for reducing non-productive idle time. Now, the second way that you can tell that the PC130 isn't a value or economy machine is what you'll find inside the cab. So the cab is the same cab that we have on all of our other larger, uh, in terms of look and feel, it's the same as you would get in a PC170 or some of your other larger equipment. The cab includes an automatic climate control system that lets you set your desired working temperature. There's also an aux jack for connecting your phone or MP3 player for music or podcasts. There's also a pull-up front window, an open-close skylight, an AM FM radio, 12-volt power supply, ample storage space, and more. Another improvement in this cab over the one found on the PC130-8 is a new 7-inch LCD monitor on this new Dash 11 model. The new monitor features a redesigned interface that displays key machine operation information as well as the view from the standard rear view camera. The monitor also gives you access to a DEF level gauge and it allows you to customize the look of the main screen to display the information that is important to you. This new display also allows you to look in on the optional Com Vision system. Now, Com Vision is a three camera system that gives you a bird's eye view of your machine and the area around you, but the monitor also allows you to select each individual camera's view from the left, rear, and right sides to let you kind of look at those specific sides of the machine. Other cab features, uh, very highly adjustable seat, heated seat, and uh, Kind of that whole Kamatsu look and feel with the, the way the controls are precise, it's still pilot control. A lot of people like that precision that you still get from pilot controls versus the electronic joysticks you might find elsewhere. On the maintenance side of things, the PC130-11 features a large one-piece hood with grease points, engine oil, and fuel filters all located at ground level for easy access. A high efficiency fuel filter and fuel pre-filter with water separator also come standard and also accessible at ground level are the DEF tank and pump and the battery disconnect switch. It's very easy to get to everything. A lot is ground level access for doing your daily checks also, at least for engine oil. It's right there, low, where, where you can get it. Um, again, it's built and designed like all of our other machines, so highly reliable focus on serviceability, and we have the dealers there to support you for that work. Now, another important note on servicing, the PC130-11 comes with complimentary Komatsu Care factory scheduled maintenance for the first three years or 2,000 hours of the machine's life, whichever comes first. So that's gonna wrap it up for us here on our overview of the all new Komatsu PC130-11, but we wanna hear what you guys are thinking. Let us know your thoughts on this kind of right-sized option that's a little bit more affordable than some of the other kind of construction class excavators in Komatsu's lineup. How do you think this thing kind of stacks up as a entry level excavator? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video or found the information in it useful in any kind of way, including in your next machine purchase or your next machine rental, please do us a favor and hit the like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, trucks, and more, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Turn on notifications so that you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate your time and we will see you next time.